Photoshop's dry brush filter produces a painterly effect that falls somewhere between an oil and a watercolor. Areas of similar color are forced to fewer colors to produce a look of brush strokes. In this example, a low-resolution copy of Photospin's image number 145 each area of detail is prominent. Let's look at the variables involved in using the dry brush filter. The brush size regulates how large each area of a specific color will be. Brush detail controls the edges between areas of color. Texture, ranging from 1 to 3, covers the prominence of the borders between the areas of color. Let's take a look at various settings here. The settings used to create the sample that you saw at the beginning of this movie were Brush Size 6, Brush Detail 8, and Texture 1. Changing the texture to 3 makes the edges far more prominent and reduces the attractiveness of the overall image. As you can see, a setting of 1 keeps the texture a little bit uh, smaller and less defined and gives more of an appearance of painting. When the brush detail is too small, then again we see a little more texture coming through. When the brush size is too small, we see no effect at all. As we increase the brush size, you see that the areas of solid color again blend back together until we reach the maximum value of 10. So again, for this particular image, settings of 6, 8, and 1 were appropriate. Your image will determine what values are most appropriate for it. Working with a high-resolution copy of this same image, you can see that a wonderfully detailed painting can be produced, one that looks almost lifelike. The settings used for this particular copy, a very high-resolution copy of the image, were brush size 10, brush detail 6, and texture 2.